Hello, I am Magdalene Ukwedeja. This is the NAN News Highlights. The Federal Capital Territory Administration says it has taken proactive steps to sensitize residents to measures they should take to prevent the Ebola disease. Dr. Humphrey Okoruko, the Director of Public Health in the Territory's Health and Human Services Secretariat, said in Abuja that although the Ebola virus had not been reported in Nigeria, the FCT administration would take adequate preventive measures. The Federal High Court sitting in Kanu has granted bail to former Governor of Kanu State, Ibrahim Shekarao, arraigned by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission over alleged money laundering. Shekarao, together with former External Affairs Minister Aminu Bashir Wali and one Mansur Ahmad, are facing a six-count charge bordering on conspiracy and money laundering to the tune of 950 million naira. Similarly, a Plateau State High Court has granted bail to former Governor Jonah Jang, who is standing trial for alleged misappropriation of state funds while in office. Justice Daniel Longji, in a ruling, granted Jiang bail with the conditions of providing two shirties in the sum of 100 million naira each and deposit of his international passport. Nigeria has signed a memorandum of understanding with the African Risk Capacity Limited to address the impact of extreme weather events in the country and to attract capacity building for government personnel. The ceremony, which took place on the sideline of the annual meetings of the African Development Bank on Thursday in Busan, South Korea, was in response to the pledge by the bank's president, Akiyomi Adeshino, to support the company in the region. Akiyomi at the event urged more stakeholders to join the company to ensure the availability of insurance against natural disaster risks. World Health Organization has warned that Ebola in the DR Congo may spread nationally and internationally in spite of the quick response by authorities and international partners to the threat. Deputy Director General of the organization, Dr. Peter Salama, said the 2018 outbreak was complicated by the spread of the virus to both rural and urban areas, thus resulting in 27 deaths and 58 confirmed cases. Scientists have developed a chip tool that could rapidly identify mosquitoes infected with the dangerous Zika virus. Dr. Maggie Sekulu Lord, a University of Queensland researcher who developed the tool with colleagues in Brazil, said the tool which shines a beam of light to identify infected mosquitoes would aid surveillance and prediction of outbreaks. President Donald Trump has cancelled a planned summit for June 20 in Singapore with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, citing tremendous anger and open hostility from the rogue nation in a letter explaining his abrupt decision. In his letter, Trump held open the possibility that the two leaders could meet at a later date to discuss denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula, which the American president has been pushing. The decision came amid hostile warnings from North Korea in recent days that it was reconsidering participation. For details of these and other stories, log on to our website, nan.ng.